Awesome. <laughs> Hello, my name is Angela and I'm doing terrorism in Australia. So as we all know, there's been a raise of ter terrorist attacks in the past few years, especially in European areas. And a few recent ones would probably be the London Bridge, um, London Bridge attack where like they drove a van across the bridge. And also there was the Ariana Grande Manchester attack which happened a few months ago. And also the Aleppo suicide car bombing and several other attacks that happened recently. So these are like a few things. Um, I'm sorry, the slides are a bit weird. But um, on the 15th to 16th of December in 2014, there was a terrorism attack. It, well, not really a terrorism attack, but a siege in an Australian cafe. The cafe was called Lynn Cafe. Um, it, a man called Heron Morris had a gun and he held the um, hostage in the cafe at gunpoint for a total of 16 hours. The police arrived at the scene for a total of 15 hours and they didn't shoot the man until um, the man killed the manager. But um, there was a total of 18 customers including the, um, including the workers who was in the cafe at the time of the um, siege. And also um, the, at the end the man ended up killing three people. One was the manager the other one was a barista, and another one was just a customer. Um, so as a Chinese who, grew, who basically grew up in Australia, I lived in Burwood, which was like a 20 minute drive away from Lynn's Cafe. And um, so it was quite eye-opening, and it was um, really scaring to know that something so terrible happened really close to you. And so knowing that really motivated me to start figuring out how to help people into, help others into um, protecting themselves during like a terrorist attack or something similar to it. But before we get to it, I have like um, a video that I kind of want to show. So, um, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's like a video about the timeline. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's just like a timeline of what happened that day. But here's like a deeper introduction. So at 8.33 is when the guy, uh, the attacker who was uh, Morris, which is call him Morris, because that's his name, um, he was pretending to be a customer in the cafe, but he ended up pulling a gun and like, him, one person like held the whole cafe. And also at 846 is when the first picture of the um, attacker viz like people, like he got the hostage to hold up a black flag which had, um, which had white writing on it. And the police first thought it was like a ISIS flag, but it wasn't. Um, and then the police started arriving at the scene at 9.46. Um, the attack, in the 9.46, and when the police arrived, they s hid at the side of the wall of, outside of the cafe, but they didn't enter or attack the attacker. <laughs> and at 2.14, this is like the next day on December 15th, so it was like already 12 hours. The attacker kills the manager, he shoots him in the head, and then the police started firing. But in the process of the shooting, um, uh, two people, which was the manager, uh, no sorry, the barista and the customer was caught in the crossfire and was both killed on accident. And so, on the, um, so I realized that the protection against terrorists, uh, terrorist attacks or just attacks in general in Australia is very, really minimal and it's, it's really easy to allow them into the country. So a way, so like a few ways for the government to protect it is just like upping the security system and you know like especially having better security systems, especially in places where there's a lot of people gathered together. So say if there's like an event, you know, um, Okay, and so how, since like those are some ways for the government to help you, but like how can you help yourself? Uh, so first of all, you can prepare for the attack. A few ways is making an emergency escape route. So 
say if you ha uh, you live in a house, like have a way to escape straight away, and also have a safe safe gathering place if you live with family or yeah, live with family, and also check out your um, students school to see if they have a lockdown procedure or a procedure for them to escape it's quickly and safely and also keep a first aid kit at hand with like bandages and um, canned food for emergency reasons and also if you really do experience a terrorist attack um, be sure to protect yourself have a weapon it could be a knife it could be a gun if you're in America um, but yeah, keep a weapon at hand so you can protect yourself whenever. And also, um, use the escape route that you made. And call 911 immediately as soon as you start knowing there is an attack happening. So call 911. And also remain calm throughout the whole procedure. Although it's very hard to remain calm when people are shooting you. But um, just try to remain calm. But um, out of everything, do not draw attention to yourself because terror terrorists Terrorists, they mainly focus on people who are, um, they focus on innocent people and people who are not capable of protecting themselves. So, if you, as long as you don't draw attention to yourself, they won't really target you. Like, they will target, they won't really target you. They do like mass shootings, but like they wouldn't target you because they, they don't have any reasons to target you. So, as long as you don't draw attention, you're good. So, yeah, thank you.